The Act of Kindness, written and published by Ungaslife. Being kind is not just a good thing to do. It has the power to create positive transformations. Extending kindness to others has a profound impact on both their lives and our own. As we explore the contents of this book, we will uncover the profound impact of kindness, which has the ability to spread positivity beyond our own sphere of influence. This book provides a roadmap for cultivating a more compassionate and fulfilling life. Exploring topics such as the power of kindness and the transformative potential of compassionate acts, we will discuss the significance of planting seeds of kindness, offering forgiveness, and using kind words to boost others' confidence. As we begin this journey of kindness, we will come to realize that real strength is found not in using force or pressure, but in the gentle yet impactful act of compassion. Through adopting kindness as a guiding principle, we have the power to not only change our own lives, but also make a positive impact on creating a more harmonious and compassionate world. Lesson 1. We are made kind by being kind. Initially, the idea of kindness as a self-perpetuating motive may appear to go against common intuition. Kindness is typically seen as a reaction to what others need or want. We might see it as a way to achieve our goals and earn the approval, respect, or admiration of others. Nevertheless, it's important to note that genuine kindness doesn't rely on receiving external rewards or recognition. Instead, it represents a core aspect of our human nature, showcasing our natural ability to feel empathy, compassion, and love. Something extraordinary occurs when we choose to perform acts of kindness. We undergo a change in our consciousness, a gentle yet impactful transformation that spreads to others and influences our own character and values. Every act of kindness, regardless of its size or apparent significance, enhances our sense of connection to others and deepens our dedication to creating a positive impact in the world. As we incorporate kindness into our daily lives, it becomes clear that it is more than just a passing feeling or occasional action. It becomes a fundamental part of who we are, shaping how we see and engage with the world. Opportunities for kindness are all around us, from the tiniest moments to the most magnificent acts. We develop a greater understanding of the needs and challenges of others, which leads to a stronger sense of responsibility to show compassion and empathy. In addition, when we embrace the habit of being kind, we start to witness a significant transformation in our own sense of well-being and happiness. Research has indicated that performing acts of kindness triggers the release of endorphins in the brain, resulting in a natural feeling of happiness and contentment. This can also lead to a reduction in stress and an improved sense of well-being. This process creates a positive cycle where our own happiness and well-being are closely connected to the happiness and well-being of others. However, the impact of kindness goes well beyond our personal encounters. By consistently choosing kindness over indifference or hostility, we can create a ripple effect of positivity that has the power to transform entire communities and even societies. We aim to motivate others to act with compassion and empathy, fostering a culture of mutual care and support that is crucial for developing strong, resilient, and thriving communities. Amidst a world filled with division, conflict, and suffering, the significance of practicing kindness has never been greater. It serves as a reminder of our shared humanity, acknowledging that despite our diverse backgrounds, we are all interconnected through our shared aspirations, concerns, and aspirations. By treating others with kindness and compassion, we can foster open dialogue, promote understanding, and facilitate healing. This approach also allows us to bridge gaps between people, even in the most challenging situations. Certainly, Developing a habit of kindness can be challenging at times. We must be willing to look beyond our own personal interests and set aside our egos and desires in order to serve a higher purpose.
It involves being open and willing to take risks in order to foster connection and comprehension. It means having the bravery to defend what is morally correct, even in challenging or unpopular circumstances. Nevertheless, the benefits of leading a compassionate life are beyond measure. By embracing kindness as our guiding principle, we have the power to not only change our own lives, but also contribute to the creation of a more fair, caring, and connected world. We come to understand a greater sense of purpose and meaning that extends beyond mere material success or external validation. We realize that genuine happiness and fulfillment stem from leading a life dedicated to serving and making a positive impact. As we go through life's ups and downs, it's important to remember the positive impact of kindness. Let's adopt it as our motive, our guiding principle, and our way of existing in the world. We should acknowledge that every act of kindness, regardless of its size, has the ability to generate positive effects that reach far beyond our own lives. Kindness is a journey that we embark on together, walking side by side with our hearts connected. We must rely on each other, offering support and encouragement, understanding that our own happiness is closely connected to the happiness of those around us. Approaching life with kindness and compassion creates a tapestry of connection and care that is stronger than any individual thread. Lesson 2. Single Act of Compassion and Kindness Kindness is a language that everyone can understand, regardless of their age, race, culture, or social status. It provides a guiding light even in the most challenging moments, bringing comfort and optimism to those facing difficulties. When we reach out to help someone, lend an ear, or just be there for them, we send a strong message that they are important, their pain is seen, and they are not alone. Kindness is beautiful because it is straightforward and easy to grasp. It can be done without any extravagant gestures or complicated plans. Occasionally, a simple gesture like a smile, a kind word, or a small act of generosity can have a profound impact on someone's life. Doing small acts of kindness, like holding the door open for a stranger, offering a seat to an elderly person on a crowded bus, or buying a meal for someone who is hungry, can make a big difference. These small acts of kindness may appear unimportant in the bigger picture. But to the person who receives them, they can hold immense significance. Acts of kindness have a ripple effect that reaches far beyond their initial occurrence. When we extend kindness to others, we initiate a ripple effect of positivity that has the potential to impact numerous lives. When we show kindness to someone, it has the power to inspire them to pass it on and spread compassion to others in their own unique way. By performing a simple act of kindness, you can set off a chain reaction of goodwill that can bring about positive change in entire communities. Amidst a world marked by divisions and conflicts, acts of compassion and empathy serve as powerful reminders of our common humanity. When we extend our compassion to others, we foster an environment of empathy, acceptance, and growth. Kindness can have a profound impact by diffusing hostility, breaking down prejudices, and creating a sense of connection and belonging. Kindness has a remarkable ability to bring positive change, not only in the lives of others, but also in our own well-being. Engaging in acts of kindness brings a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose that surpasses any material rewards. Assisting others provides us with a sense of purpose and links us to something beyond our own selves. This serves as a reminder that even our smallest actions have the power to make a positive impact on the world. In addition, Research has demonstrated that acts of kindness can have a positive impact on both physical and mental well-being. Acts of compassion have a positive impact on our well-being. They trigger the release of hormones like oxytocin and serotonin, which can help us feel good, reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and strengthen our immune system. Being kind also helps to foster positive emotions like happiness, gratitude, and a feeling of connection, 
which are crucial for our overall well-being and joy. Kindness shines brightly as a beacon of hope in a world that can often feel harsh and unforgiving. It serves as a reminder that even during the most challenging moments, there is still kindness and empathy to be discovered. Choosing kindness allows us to make a difference by spreading positivity and light in our interactions. It's impossible to fully grasp the impact our kindness has on others. But we can be confident that every act of compassion spreads throughout the world, touching lives in ways we may never witness. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that being kind isn't always a walk in the park. It can be difficult to prioritize compassion and empathy in a society that often values success, competition, and individual achievement. There is a common concern that demonstrating kindness might be seen as a sign of vulnerability. Or that others might exploit our goodwill. However, genuine kindness does not involve being taken advantage of or neglecting our own welfare for the sake of others. It's all about acknowledging our common humanity and making decisions based on love and empathy. Being kind also means having the bravery to be vulnerable. It involves venturing beyond our comfort zones and taking the chance of being rejected or misunderstood. It involves having the willingness to open our hearts and establish deeper connections with others. However, the benefits of being kind are much greater than any potential drawbacks. Choosing kindness has the power to transform our world into a place of compassion, connection, and love. In addition, kindness extends beyond extravagant displays or extraordinary deeds. The power to transform lives lies in the small. Everyday moments of compassion. It represents the compassionate gesture towards a colleague going through a difficult time, the friendly smile given to a stranger passing by, or the supportive assistance offered to a neighbor in distress. These small acts of kindness may not receive much attention or recognition, but they have the ability to deeply impact people's lives in ways that may go unnoticed. It's important to remember the impact. That a small act of compassion and kindness can have, we should always keep in mind that a simple smile, a kind word, or a helping hand can have a profound impact on someone's life, even if we're unaware of it. Let's make the choice to be kind, not because it's a simple task, but because it's an essential one. Kindness is what unites us and leads us towards a brighter future. Even in a world that can sometimes feel fragmented and troubled. Lesson three: Sow with good seed and reap a good harvest. The concept of sowing and reaping is a principle that applies to everyone, regardless of their background or beliefs. It serves as a reminder that the choices we make have repercussions, and the energy we emit will eventually come back to us. By planting seeds of kindness, compassion, and love. We can create a ripple effect that impacts the lives of those around us and shapes the world we live in. Approaching life with a positive and generous spirit means sowing with good seed. It implies behaving with honesty and moral principles, even in the absence of an audience. It involves treating others with respect and empathy, understanding that we are all connected and that our own well-being is closely linked to the well-being of those around us. When we plant positive seeds, we establish a strong basis of trust, kindness, and mutual assistance that enables us to navigate life's challenges with poise and strength. Acts of kindness and compassion are incredibly impactful when it comes to sowing positive seeds. By reaching out to those in need, lending an ear to someone who is struggling, or simply showing kindness with a smile and kind words, we can bring hope and healing to others. These small acts of kindness may appear unimportant at first, but they hold the potential to change lives and spread positivity beyond our immediate sphere of influence. In addition, cultivating a mindset of abundance and gratitude is essential for sowing good seeds. By shifting our perspective to appreciate the blessings in our lives instead of fixating on what we may be missing. We create a space for endless opportunities to unfold. We start to recognize chances for progress and bonding, 
where others might only perceive challenges and restrictions. Approaching life with gratitude attracts more goodness and abundance, making us a magnet for positive change. Nevertheless, planting favorable seeds can sometimes be challenging. In a world that can often feel challenging and competitive, it requires bravery and strong beliefs to opt for the path of kindness and compassion. Some people may oppose or mock the idea of kindness, thinking it makes us weak or that success can only come from being selfish and ruthless. However, the real measure of strength is staying committed to our principles and behaving with honesty, even when confronted with challenges. In order to develop a habit of planting positive seeds, it is important to take a closer look at the seeds we are currently sowing in our lives. Do we cultivate negativity, fear, and self-doubt, or do we nurture love, courage, and resilience? By developing a greater understanding of our thoughts, words, and actions, we can start making deliberate decisions about the outcomes we desire. Self-reflection and personal growth can be challenging at times, but they are crucial for living a purposeful and meaningful life. We must face our own shadows, recognize our mistakes and shortcomings, and accept responsibility for the impact we have on the world around us. However, as we go through this process of self-discovery and transformation, we gain the wisdom and compassion needed to intentionally and purposefully plant positive seeds. By developing a habit of planting positive seeds, we start to view the world with a mindset of opportunity and promise. We understand that each interaction, decision, and moment presents a chance to create a positive impact and contribute to the greater good. We develop a greater sensitivity to the needs of others and a stronger willingness to offer assistance, recognizing that the actions we take now will yield positive outcomes down the line. In addition, it is important to note that sowing positive actions extends beyond our interactions with others. It also involves taking care of ourselves and fostering personal growth. By practicing self-kindness and compassion, we lay a solid groundwork to extend these qualities to others. Practicing self-care and self-compassion helps us recharge and become more authentic in every aspect of our lives. In a world that can often feel divided and polarized, fostering positive relationships is a powerful way to build bridges of understanding and connection. By approaching others with a genuine desire to understand and a willingness to listen, we can foster meaningful conversations and promote healing. We start to understand the humanity in people with differing perspectives or diverse backgrounds, and we acknowledge that our common aspirations and goals are stronger than the factors that separate us. Certainly, planting positive seeds does not ensure a life devoid of difficulties or obstacles. Life, like farming, presents us with its fair share of challenges and uncertainties. However, it is our ability to adapt and remain composed that allows us to overcome these obstacles. However, with a solid foundation of positive habits and relationships, we can more confidently confront these challenges with courage and optimism. The results we achieve ultimately mirror the efforts we put in. To live a fulfilling life, it's important to be mindful of the choices we make and the impact they have on our overall happiness and success. We should opt for planting seeds of love, even when confronted with fear. We should opt for planting seeds of compassion, even when it seems more convenient to pass judgment or condemn. In the midst of the darkest moments, it is crucial that we opt to plant seeds of hope. Lesson 4 Forget past hurts, never forget kindness. Forgetting past hurts doesn't mean we're trying to erase the memories or deny the pain we've gone through. Instead, it's a deliberate decision to let go of the hold that these wounds have on our current lives. Understanding the harm of holding on to resentment, anger, or bitterness helps us break free from a cycle of suffering and embrace the beauty and potential of the present moment. When we hold on to the wounds we've suffered, we give them the ability to shape our lives, restricting our potential for personal development, joy, and authentic relationships with others.
Releasing past hurts necessitates a strong understanding of oneself and emotional intelligence. It involves recognizing the pain we've experienced, validating our emotions, and then bravely choosing to release it. This process can sometimes be challenging, and it may take some time, patience, and assistance from others. As we let go of the past, we make room for healing, forgiveness, and personal growth. We come to realize that our previous encounters, regardless of their difficulty, do not have to shape our upcoming days. In addition, letting go of past hurts is not only beneficial for our own well-being, but it also demonstrates compassion towards those who have hurt us. When we hold on to resentment, we build a wall that separates us from others, causing a cycle of negativity and disconnection. When we choose to release these hurts, we create an opportunity for understanding, empathy, and the potential for reconciliation. We recognize that those who have hurt us are also people with their own challenges, anxieties, and past events that have influenced their behavior. Remembering acts of kindness can be a potent remedy for the burdens we bear. By directing our attention towards the instances of compassion, generosity, and love that we've encountered, we nurture a feeling of gratitude and resilience. We always remember that even during the most challenging moments, there is still goodness and beauty to be discovered in the world. By cherishing these special memories, we build a wellspring of optimism and resilience that we can tap into during challenging moments. Remembering kindness goes beyond the grand gestures or heroic acts that grab attention. It revolves around the little, everyday instances of bonding and nurturing that keep us going. Kind words from strangers, helping hands from friends, and unexpected acts of generosity have a way of touching our hearts. These moments may appear brief, but they possess the ability to profoundly change our lives. They serve as a reminder of the common bond we share as human beings and the innate kindness that exists within every individual. Remembering and appreciating the kindness we receive helps us cultivate empathy and compassion. We develop a greater sensitivity to the needs of others and a stronger inclination to reciprocate with acts of kindness. We understand that even the smallest acts of kindness can have a profound impact spreading positivity beyond our own sphere of influence. In addition, keeping kindness in mind is not only a way to reflect, but also a decision to foster more kindness in our own lives. When we appreciate the kindness shown to us by others, it motivates us to spread positivity and make a difference in the world. We are motivated to be more giving with our time, resources, and love. Recognizing the profound impact that acts of kindness can have on transforming lives and fostering a more compassionate society. Amidst the challenges of life, choosing to let go of past pain and hold on to acts of kindness is a powerful expression of optimism and strength. It serves as a reminder that we hold the ability to decide how we react to the obstacles and disappointments we encounter and that each moment presents a chance to foster greater love and connection in the world. Certainly, it can be challenging to let go of past hurts and hold on to memories of kindness. At certain moments, it can be challenging to release the pain and heal from deep wounds. At times, it can be challenging to discover the goodness and beauty in the midst of chaos and suffering. Even in these challenging times, it's important to remember that healing is possible. Every act of compassion, no matter how small, can make a difference. In order to foster a habit of letting go of past hurts and embracing acts of kindness, it is important to first nurture a strong sense of self-compassion. We should practice treating ourselves with the same level of kindness and understanding that we show towards others. We need to recognize and accept our own pain and struggles, while also understanding our value and potential for personal development and healing. It's important to have positive and uplifting people in our lives who remind us of the goodness within ourselves and in the world. We should look for communities that provide support and love, where we can openly share our stories, challenges, and successes.
We need to be open and willing to ask for assistance when necessary, while also being ready to lend a hand to others. Lesson 5. Kindness in words creates confidence. Forgetting past hurts doesn't mean we're trying to erase the memories or deny the pain we've gone through. Instead, it's a deliberate decision to let go of the hold that these wounds have on our current lives. Understanding the harm of holding on to resentment, anger, or bitterness helps us break free from a cycle of suffering and embrace the beauty and potential of the present moment. When we hold on to the wounds we've suffered, we give them the ability to shape our lives, restricting our potential for personal development, joy, and authentic relationships with others. Releasing past hurts necessitates a strong understanding of oneself and emotional intelligence. It involves recognizing the pain we've experienced, validating our emotions, and then bravely choosing to release it. This process can sometimes be challenging, and it may take some time, patience, and assistance from others. As we let go of the past, we make room for healing, forgiveness, and personal growth. We come to realize that our previous encounters, regardless of their difficulty, do not have to shape our upcoming days. In addition, letting go of past hurts is not only beneficial for our own well-being, but it also demonstrates compassion towards those who have hurt us. When we hold on to resentment, we build a wall that separates us from others, causing a cycle of negativity and disconnection. When we choose to release these hurts, we create an opportunity for understanding, empathy, and the potential for reconciliation. We recognize that those who have hurt us are also people with their own challenges, anxieties, and past events that have influenced their behavior. Remembering acts of kindness can be a potent remedy for the burdens we bear. By directing our attention towards the instances of compassion, generosity, and love that we've encountered, we nurture a feeling of gratitude and resilience. We always remember that even during the most challenging moments, there is still goodness and beauty to be discovered in the world. By cherishing these special memories, we build a wellspring of optimism and resilience that we can tap into during challenging moments. Remembering kindness goes beyond the grand gestures or heroic acts that grab attention. It revolves around the little, everyday instances of bonding and nurturing that keep us going. Kind words from strangers, helping hands from friends and unexpected acts of generosity have a way of touching our hearts. These moments may appear brief, but they possess the ability to profoundly change our lives. They serve as a reminder of the common bond we share as human beings and the innate kindness that exists within every individual. Remembering and appreciating the kindness we receive helps us cultivate empathy and compassion. We develop a greater sensitivity to the needs of others and a stronger inclination to reciprocate with acts of kindness. We understand that even the smallest acts of kindness can have a profound impact, spreading positivity beyond our own sphere of influence. In addition, keeping kindness in mind is not only a way to reflect, but also a decision to foster more kindness in our own lives. When we appreciate the kindness shown to us by others, it motivates us to spread positivity and make a difference in the world. We are motivated to be more giving with our time, resources, and love, recognizing the profound impact that acts of kindness can have on transforming lives and fostering a more compassionate society. Certainly, it can be challenging to let go of past hurts and hold on to memories of kindness. At certain moments, it can be challenging to release the pain and heal from deep wounds. At times, it can be challenging to discover the goodness and beauty in the midst of chaos and suffering. Even in these challenging times, it's important to remember that healing is possible. Every act of compassion, no matter how small, can make a difference. In order to foster a habit of letting go of past hurts and embracing acts of kindness, it is important to first nurture a strong sense of self-compassion we should practice treating ourselves with the same level of kindness and understanding that we show towards others. We need to recognize and accept our own pain and struggles, 
while also understanding our value and potential for personal development and healing. We should make it a point to recognize and value the little instances of beauty and connection that exist all around us, even when things are chaotic and uncertain. We should embrace the beauty and marvel at the wonder of life, always remembering that each moment is a precious gift. Lesson 6. Dedicating Yourself to Serving Others Initially, the idea of finding oneself through helping others may appear contradictory. It can be challenging to prioritize our personal growth when we are constantly dedicating our time and energy to supporting others. Discovering the true beauty of life often comes from selflessly serving others. By committing ourselves to helping others, we broaden our perspective and gain insight into their experiences. We cultivate a greater capacity for empathy, compassion, and understanding, enabling us to forge more profound connections with others. This connection allows us to better understand the wide range of human experiences and the shared aspects that unite us. In addition, helping others gives us a sense of purpose and meaning that goes beyond our own personal needs and wants. Engaging in acts of kindness and generosity brings a deep sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that goes beyond self-centered pursuits. We realize that genuine happiness and satisfaction stem from our ability to contribute to the well-being of others, rather than solely focusing on our own personal gains. As we serve others, we develop a variety of valuable skills and qualities that help us grow personally and discover more about ourselves. As we face the difficulties and obstacles that arise when assisting others, we acquire valuable qualities such as patience, resilience, and adaptability. Recognizing the value and worth of every human being, regardless of their circumstances, helps us develop a sense of humility and perspective. Helping others also gives us a diverse range of life experiences and teachings that shape who we are and how we see the world. By listening to the stories and challenges of those we assist, we gain a wider understanding of the human experience and the various factors that influence our world. We develop the ability to look past superficial distinctions and value the shared humanity that connects us all. In addition, when we commit ourselves to helping others, we become a part of a greater whole. We become part of a community of people who share our passion for creating a positive impact in the world. By forming connections and collaborating with others, we discover a sense of belonging, support, and inspiration that helps us grow and learn more about ourselves. It's worth mentioning that helping others doesn't always involve extravagant gestures or heroic deeds. Offering a listening ear to a friend in need, volunteering at a local charity, or performing small acts of kindness and compassion in our daily lives are all straightforward ways to make a positive impact. It's important to approach every interaction with a mindset of generosity, empathy, and a sincere desire to create a positive impact. Undoubtedly, committing ourselves to serving others can be challenging at times. It necessitates giving up things, being considerate of others, and being willing to prioritize their needs over our own. At certain points, we might experience feelings of being overwhelmed, exhausted, or discouraged due to the size of the challenges we encounter. However, it is during these challenging times that we often find the most valuable chances for personal development and self-exploration. By persisting through the difficulties of helping others, we cultivate a resilience and inner strength that we didn't realize we had. We discover how to appreciate and derive satisfaction from even the tiniest accomplishments, while also cultivating a sense of hope and positivity when confronted with challenges. During this process, we uncover a profound sense of character and an ability to experience love and compassion that can truly bring about positive change. In addition, helping others reminds us of the deep connection we share and the impact our actions can have on others, reaching far beyond our own sphere of influence. By committing ourselves to improving the lives of others, we play a part in the greater fabric of human advancement and societal transformation. 
we join forces to contribute to the creation of a fair, caring, and inclusive world. Choosing to serve others can be a transformative decision in a society that often values individual achievement and self-interest. It encourages us to reconsider what it means to be successful and happy by focusing on the positive influence we can have on others. It encourages us to broaden our perspective and think about the well-being of our communities and the world as a whole. Lesson 7. Be the change you wish to see in the world. This profound insight, often associated with Mahatma Gandhi, captures the essence of living a meaningful life filled with integrity and making a positive difference. This is a call to action that encourages us to take responsibility for the condition of our world and to actively work towards making a difference. We can make a difference by embodying the values and behaviors we want to see in our society instead of relying on others to solve the problems we observe. Being the change we wish to see is fundamentally about aligning our actions with our deepest values and beliefs. It's all about embracing our true selves, showing kindness, and dedicating ourselves to bringing positivity to the people around us. By doing this, we can become a living example of the world we aspire to create. This will inspire others to follow suit, leading to a ripple effect of positive change. Practicing compassion and kindness is a powerful way to bring about positive change. In a world that can often seem divided and polarized, small acts of kindness and empathy can make a significant difference in the lives of those around us. By approaching others with empathy and a genuine desire to listen and understand, we can overcome barriers of fear and mistrust, fostering authentic connections and facilitating healing. In addition, to bring about the change we desire, we must confront and challenge the oppressive and unjust systems that exist in our society. This involves actively striving to dismantle racism, sexism, homophobia, and other forms of discrimination, both within ourselves and in the world around us. It means advocating for the rights and dignity of all people, even in challenging or unpopular circumstances. In order to truly bring about the change we desire, it is important for us to develop a strong sense of self-awareness and focus on personal growth. This involves honestly examining our own biases, limitations, and areas for growth, and dedicating ourselves to a lifelong process of learning and personal development. It involves mustering the bravery to venture beyond what feels familiar, to embrace uncertainty and to welcome the challenges that accompany personal development and transformation. Aside from our personal efforts, making a difference also requires actively striving to bring about positive change in our communities and the world as a whole. This involves actively participating in local activism and community organizing, backing causes and organizations that resonate with our beliefs, and utilizing our individual abilities and talents to have a positive impact on the well-being of others. It's crucial to acknowledge that embodying the change we desire isn't always a walk in the park. It necessitates a readiness to confront obstacles, setbacks, and opposition from people who profit from the existing state of affairs. It means remaining steadfast in our values and beliefs, even when it may be challenging or not well received by others. Nevertheless, it is by persisting and staying strong in the face of challenges that we cultivate the fortitude and personal qualities needed to make enduring transformations. Furthermore, Embodying the change we desire does not require perfection or the attainment of a particular objective. Instead, it focuses on the everyday application of living with honesty, kindness, and a dedication to making a positive difference. Our daily choices, from the words we speak to, the actions we take, have a profound impact on our lives and the world we live in. Certainly, Making the change we desire is not something we can achieve alone. We need the help, motivation, and teamwork of people who have the same goals as us. Creating a fair, caring, and environmentally friendly world through the collaboration of like-minded people 
we can greatly enhance our ability to make a positive difference in society and the environment. Lesson 8. Kindness is making someone smile, if only for a moment. Smiles have the incredible power to connect people from all walks of life, regardless of their cultural background, age, or situation. It has the ability to bring comfort and happiness, even during difficult times. By taking a moment to offer a kind word, a helping hand, or a friendly smile to those around us, we give them a valuable gift. It lets them know that they are noticed, appreciated, and supported. It serves as a gentle reminder that, even in the face of obstacles and hardships, there are still moments of goodness and beauty to be discovered in our world. A smile from someone we don't know, a close friend, or a person we care about can be incredibly comforting, reminding us that we have support and are not alone. It can create a ripple effect of positivity and kindness, impacting numerous lives in ways we may not fully grasp. When we bring happiness to others, we sow the seeds of joy and compassion. These seeds have the power to grow and inspire others to be kind and generous in their own lives. Kindness is beautiful because it doesn't need extravagant displays or extraordinary deeds. We have the greatest power to make a difference in the small, everyday moments of compassion and empathy. Small gestures, like offering a smile to a busy cashier, speaking kindly to a colleague who is having a hard time, or lending a helping hand to a neighbor in need, can have a profound impact on someone's day, and ultimately strengthen the bonds within our communities. Making someone smile is a powerful and transformative choice in a world that often values individual achievement and self-interest. Putting the needs and well-being of others before our own is a choice that requires us to show compassion and empathy, even when it's challenging or inconvenient. Understanding the connection between our own happiness and the happiness of others is crucial. Certainly, Bringing a smile to someone's face can be quite challenging at times. Stepping outside our comfort zones and facing vulnerability and rejection is necessary in order to foster connection and understanding. It involves mustering the bravery to connect with others, even when we are feeling overwhelmed or uncertain ourselves. Yet, it is by reaching out to others that we uncover the profound extent of our own resilience, compassion, and strength. As we go through life, it's common to get caught up in our own problems and worries. It's common to feel overwhelmed by the size of the challenges we encounter, whether on a personal level or as a society. Yet, it is during these challenging times that the radiance of a smile becomes even more apparent. It serves as a reminder that even during difficult times, there is still hope and beauty to be discovered in the world. Choosing to extend kindness and compassion to others has a profound impact on both their lives and our own. We find a purpose and meaning that extends beyond our own needs and desires, and we become a part of something larger than ourselves. When we make someone else smile, we also experience a profound sense of joy, connection, and fulfillment that cannot be measured in terms of value. A smile holds a lasting impact beyond the present moment. It can have a profound impact, spreading positivity well beyond our immediate surroundings. Spreading smiles sends a powerful message of hope and compassion, inspiring others to adopt kindness as a way of life. We join a worldwide movement of people dedicated to creating a fair, caring, and interconnected world. In addition, the impact of a smile knows no boundaries of age, culture, or situation. It is a language that resonates with the core of our humanity. Regardless of our age, wealth, or background, we all have the ability to share and receive the simple yet powerful gift of a smile. It serves as a reminder that, regardless of our various distinctions, we are all linked by the shared bond of our humanity. Certainly, making someone smile is not a cure all for the various problems and challenges we encounter in life. 
It does not replace the effort required to create a fair and equal society or the personal journey of healing and growth. Nevertheless, it remains a potent tool in our collection of empathy and benevolence. Capable of guiding us through the most challenging moments with elegance and strength. As we navigate our daily routines, it's important to recognize the powerful influence a smile can have on the people we encounter. Let's make an effort to show kindness and compassion. Even when we're facing our own difficulties, developing a compassionate and empathetic mindset is crucial in order to truly connect with and support others. Lesson 9. You can accomplish by kindness what you cannot by force. Initially, the idea of achieving our goals through kindness instead of force may appear counterintuitive. In a world where strength is often associated with aggression and power with dominance, it can be tempting to think that the only way to achieve our desires is by forcing our will onto others. Many of us believe that we need to be strong, unwavering, and persistent in our quest for success, often viewing acts of kindness or compassion as signs of vulnerability. Nevertheless, it is important to recognize that real strength does not come from overpowering others, but rather from having the bravery to lead with empathy, understanding, and compassion. Approaching others with kindness and respect fosters an environment conducive to genuine connection and collaboration. We create an environment of trust, loyalty, and mutual understanding, fostering relationships based on a common sense of purpose and values. Being kind can have a powerful effect on people, even those who are initially resistant. By showing compassion and respect towards others, we communicate a strong message about how much we value their humanity and worth. We foster an atmosphere where people feel acknowledged, valued, and respected, increasing the likelihood of them responding with kindness and goodwill. On the other hand, when force and aggression are employed, they tend to create feelings of resentment, resistance, and disengagement. When we try to enforce our desires on others, it creates an environment of fear and distrust, where people feel undervalued and disrespected. We might be able to achieve immediate compliance, but this comes at the expense of building long-term loyalty, commitment, and collaboration. In addition, the use of force frequently leads to a cycle of negativity and retaliation that can be challenging to overcome. Responding to conflict or challenges with aggression and hostility can lead others to respond in a similar manner. We foster an environment where blame, defensiveness, and one, upmanship, prevail, causing people to prioritize self-interest over collaboration towards a shared objective. Kindness, however, can break the cycle of negativity and create a positive and virtuous circle of goodwill. When we engage with others in a compassionate and open-minded manner, we foster an environment that encourages conversation, teamwork, and mutual admiration. We encourage people to look beyond their own self-interest and take into account the needs and perspectives of others. Certainly, Prioritizing kindness does not imply being a doormat or compromising our own needs and boundaries. Genuine kindness stems from a strong sense of self-respect and self-awareness. It necessitates a clear understanding of our own values, goals, and expectations. It involves establishing clear boundaries and effectively communicating them with kindness and consideration, while also remaining receptive to the needs and viewpoints of others. Being kind is a powerful way to build trust and nurture lasting relationships. By consistently treating others with compassion and respect, we can establish a strong foundation of goodwill and mutual understanding that can withstand any difficult situation. We show that we can be trusted, relied upon, and dedicated to the welfare of others, and we encourage others to do the same. Amidst a world filled with division, conflict and mistrust, the act of leading with kindness has become increasingly crucial. This approach helps to connect people who have different perspectives, find areas of agreement even when there are disagreements, and foster a sense of unity and common goals. By treating others with kindness and compassion, 
we convey a strong message of unity and shared responsibility in building a better world. In addition, the positive effects of prioritizing kindness go well beyond our immediate interactions and relationships. By consistently choosing kindness over force, we can create a positive impact that extends beyond ourselves. We strive to encourage others to embrace compassion and empathy, fostering a culture of kindness and mutual respect that can bring about positive change in communities, organizations, and societies as a whole. Certainly, it can be challenging to consistently prioritize kindness. We need to be open and receptive, setting aside our own ego and self-interest and making the effort to genuinely listen and comprehend the needs and perspectives of others. It involves acknowledging our mistakes, offering apologies for any harm caused and actively striving for reconciliation and healing. Nevertheless, the benefits of prioritizing kindness are incalculable. By prioritizing compassion over coercion, we not only accomplish our immediate objectives, but we also establish a lasting legacy of positivity and goodwill that will have a far-reaching impact, even after we are no longer here. We foster connections and communities based on trust, respect, and shared understanding working towards a more equitable, compassionate, and interconnected world. As we go through life's ups and downs, let's not forget the incredible impact of kindness in achieving what force alone cannot. We should prioritize empathy, compassion, and respect, and have faith in the inherent goodness and potential of those around us. It's important for us to be open-minded, receptive to new ideas and committed to personal growth. We should always remember that even a small act of kindness can make a big difference in the world. Final lesson. The act of kindness. We have observed the power of kindness to motivate us, encouraging us to keep sharing warmth and positivity in our interactions. We have seen how a small act of kindness can have a big impact on the people around us. We have discussed the significance of planting seeds of kindness, forgiving wrongdoings, and using kind words to boost others' confidence. As we move forward in life, let's remember that kindness is not about big gestures or heroic acts. It's about the simple, everyday moments of compassion and care that we show to others. Let's actively look for chances to show kindness offer assistance, give words of encouragement, and make a positive impact on others' lives. Always keep in mind that performing acts of kindness goes beyond being a pleasant gesture. It holds the potential to bring about significant change, serves as a reminder of our collective humanity, and paves the way for a more empathetic and promising future for everyone.